What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. Again, I am your math teacher, Sir Gaor. And this is another topic about factoring. So this is factoring perfect square trinomials. Okay, so for our drill for today, we are asked to solve for, for the unknown using the given values below. So isa substitute lang po natin yung binigay na value para mahanap natin yung isang missing value. Okay, so good luck! A few moments later. Okay, so kung tapos na, here are our correct answers. So, yan pati yung kanyang solution. So, pinakita ko na rin. So, review na lang kung kayo ay may mali. Uh, kasi uh, alam ko sa tingin ko ay requirement yan para mas maintindihan pa natin yung ating lesson for today. Okay? Okay, so here are the characteristics of a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so the first one, of course, it should be a trinomial. So, tatlong terms. The second one, first and third terms must be perfect squares. So, yung una raw at saka yung dulo dapat perfect squares. Anong ibig sabihin ng perfect squares? Numerical coefficient ng first at saka third terms dapat perfect square numbers. Tapos, um, yung exponent nila ay dapat, yung exponent ng variables ay dapat even numbers. Okay? The third one is twice the square roots of the first and third terms is the second term. So, ang gagawin pala, kukuhanin mo yung square root ng first, tsaka yung square, square root, root ng, ng second, third. tapos ita times 2 mo, dapat ang lalabas dun ay yung nasa second term. And last one, second term may be positive or negative. So, those are the characteristics of a perfect square trinomial. Kailangan maging familiar tayo dyan para isang tingin lang natin or kaunting checking lang natin um, alam na natin na siya ay under ng perfect square trinomial. So now that we know the characteristics of perfect square trinomials, so tignan natin kung talagang naintindihan natin yung mga nakasulat kanina. Okay, so determine if each trinomial is a perfect square or not. Answer with check or x respectively. So ibig sabihin, kapag siya raw ay perfect square trinomial, check, check lalagay natin. Kapag hindi, x na lang. Okay? So, natandaan nyo sana yung apat kanina, no? Okay, so, let's try. For number one, is it is this a trinomial? Okay, so trinomial siya. Perfect square number, perfect square number. So, perfect square to, perfect squares. Okay, check na lang natin yung gitna. So, kuhanin natin yung square root ng 25x squared. So, that, that will be 5x. Square root of this one, 16, is 4. So, palaging may times 2. So, always remember, twice daw. So, that is now 2 times yung square root neto, times yung square root ng third. Square root ng first, tas square root ng third. 2 times 5 is 10, times 4 is 40. So, we have 40x. So, 40x dun. Sabi dun sa pang-apat, the middle term or the second term may be positive or negative. So, therefore, this one is a check. So, it's a perfect square trinomial. Next, number 2. So, tignan natin. Oh, hindi ito perfect square number. So, ibig sabihin, so, error tayo rito. Hindi naman yan perfect square number. Tapos, isa pa, this should, be, this should always be positive. Yung nasa dulo ay palaging positive. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan compute kasi hindi na nga siya perfect square trinomial. So, this is now an x. So, number 3, square root neto ay, square root of a squared is a, Square root ng 4b to the 4th, that will be 2b squared. 2b squared. Times 2, palagi. So, that is now 2 times a times 2b squared. So, 2 times 2 is 4ab squared. So, 4ab squared. Ayun, nagkulang lang ng isa. No? Wala lang siyang squared. So, hindi pa rin considered Sayang. Pag-compute natin, sakto naman eh. Kaya lang... Pagdating dito, wala naman siyang exponent na 2. So, ibig sabihin, it's not a perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, hindi dahil nag-compute kayo at nakita nyo yung number, tignan nyo rin pati yung exponents ng variables. Okay, then next we have, square root of this one is 10, m squared. And then, square root of this one is 9, n cubed. Okay, so malamang na to. Check natin, times to lahat. Okay, 2 times 10 is 
20. 20 times 9 is 180. So, yun. M squared, N cubed. M squared, N cubed. So, this is a check. So, that is how to determine whether a perfect a trinomial is a perfect square or not. Okay po? Okay, so ngayon alam na natin kung kailan perfect square trinomial yung trinomial. So, paano naman pa-factor kapag nalaman natin na siya ay perfect square trinomial? So, let us have some examples. So, we are asked to factor the following completely. Always kapag factoring, talagang dapat factor completely. Okay, so check muna natin. Baka hindi ito perfect square trinomial. Square root ay x. Square root ay 3. So, palaging may times 2. 2 times x, 2x. Times 3, 6x. Kahit positive, kahit negative. Okay, so positive naman to. So, therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. Sobrang dali lang po mag-factor ng perfect square trinomial. So, this is how. Square root ng first term, that's x. So, this is x squared. So, square root ng first term, that will be x. Square root ng second term, that which is 9, so, that will be 3. Kokopyahin lang natin yung sign ng middle term, itong middle term na to. So, minus yan. Tapos, lalagyan na po ng squared, kasi nga, perfect square nga siya eh. So, yan na po yung ating answer. x minus 3, or the quantity, x minus 3 squared. So, ganun lang siya kadali, no? Sobrang dali. Okay, square root ng p squared ay p. Square root ng 4 ay 2. Tapos, palaging may times 2. 2 times p, 2p, times 2, 4p. So, 4p nga siya. Okay, positive naman to. Okay, so therefore, mabilis na lang yan. Square root ng p squared ay p. Positive yung sign ng gitna. Tapos, square root ng 4 ay 2. So, p plus 2 squared. Okay? Next. Perfect square, perfect square. So, check na lang natin yung gitna. Okay, square root of 36c to the 4th, that will be 6c squared. Square root of d to the 4th, that is d squared. Okay, times 2. So, that is 2 times 6 is 12. 12 c squared, d squared. So, 12 c squared, d squared. Kahit positive, kahit negative. Tapos, positive pa to. Okay? So, perfect squared trinomial siya. Factor. Square root of 36 is 6. Square root of... Uh, square root of c to the 4th is... c squared. And then, copy the sign of this one. Minus. And then, d squared. Okay. Factorable pa ba to? Pwede ba siya sa DTS? Difference of two squares? Yes or no? It is not. So, okay na yan. Final answer na yan. So, squared na lang natin to. Final answer na to kasi yung 6 naman ay hindi naman perfect square number. So, dapat perfect square number para doon sa DTS. Okay? Next, number 4. 20 is not a perfect square number. And also, 45. So, baka may gagawin tayo. Remember, so, unahin mo nang isipin, dahil hindi naman applicable yung DTS or yung perfect square trinomial, baka pwede ang GCMF. So, all of them, all of the terms are divisible by 5. So, divide all the terms by 5. So, bali ko factor out natin yung 5 dito. Ito walang n, so hindi pwedeng 5n. Kaya 5 lang siya. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So, matitira ay 4n squared. Okay. 60 divided by, or negative 60n divided by 5, that will be negative 12n. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Positive 9. Okay, ito ngayon ang check natin kung ito ba ay perfect square trinomial. So, ginamitan muna natin ng GCMF. Square root of 4 is, square root of 4n squared is 2n. Square root of 9 is 3. And then, may times 2 palagi. So, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. Ayun, si 12. N, kahit positive, kahit negative. Tapos, positive pa yung 9 natin dito. Okay, so therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. So, that's why ang factor niya ay, or factors niya, square root ng 4n ay, 4n squared, that's 2n. Square root of 9 is 3. Copy the sign of the middle term, so 2n minus 3. And then, lalagyan ng squared. Huwag nyo kakalimutan ito ha. Huwag nyo kakalimutan yung squared. Kasi nga, perfect squared trinomial. Pag nakalimutan nyo, so bali, wala, mali yun. Okay, last one. So, hindi perfect square number, so baka ganun ulit. All of the terms are divisible by 8. 
So, labas natin yung 8 or factor out natin yung 8. So, ang may iwan ay a squared divided by 8. So, ang matitira dito ay positive 2ab and then b squared. Okay? So, check natin ngayon kung siya ba ay perfect squared kinomial. Square root of this one is a, square root of this one is b, tapos may times 2. 2ab. So, ito yung 2ab. So, therefore, that is a perfect square trinomial. So, factorable to by PST. So, this is now 8. Do not forget also, yung, huwag nyo rin kakalimutan yung inyong uh, GCMF ha, baka hindi nyo na masunod, mamamali ulit. So, susunod lang sila. Square root of a squared is a, copy the sign of this one, so plus, square root of b squared is b, and lagyan ng squared. So, therefore, those are our answers. Sana nakukuha nyo. Okay, so let's have a quick check kung talagang naintindihan na ba natin yung uh, factoring by perfect square trinomial. Okay, so pag play nyo ay mag-check na po tayo. Good luck! A few moments later. Okay, kung tapos na, here are the correct answers for our quick check. So, sana nakakuha ko yung ng score na 5, pero kung hindi, paki-counter check na lang kung saan kayo nagkamali. Okay? So, meron pa kasi tayong isa pang skill na kailangang matutunan. Here's another skill that we need to learn in factoring perfect squared trinomials. And that is how to determine the missing term to have a perfect squared trinomial. So, anong sinasabi rito? Meron tayo sanang perfect squared trinomial pero kulang ng isa, no? So ang gagawin natin, aalamin natin yung nawawalang term para magkaroon tayo ng perfect square trinomial. Okay, saan ba nang galing muna itong mga formula na to? So mabilis na recap lang or mabilis na ano lang paliwanag. Yung from the quadratic equation, from the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0. So ang nangyari diyan ay nagkaroon ng derivation dun sa formula. Pagka-derive, lalabas doon ay quadratic formula. Tapos, dun sa quadratic formula, may tinatawag dun sa loob na discriminant. So, yung discriminant, kinuha, tapos in-isolate na yung A, B, and C. So, kaya ito ang, ito ang lumabas doon. So, we will name, yung A, B, C na yun na nandyan, kinoconsider yung A as the first term. Tapos, yung B naman as the second term, while the C, a small letter C, is the third term. So, pag nawawala pala yung first term, so ito lang ang gagamitin, b squared over 4c. Pag nawawala naman yung b, it is equal to positive or negative square root of ac. And then, pag nawawala naman yung c, that is b squared over 4a. Mukhang familiar dito, ito yung kagaya halo sa drill, except dun sa square root, hindi lang natin nilagyan ng square root kanina sa drill. Okay, so let's go to the examples. Solve for the missing term so that each trinomial becomes perfect square. So, nawawala yung term para maging perfect square trinomial siya. Nawawala ang first term. So, ibig sabihin nawawala yung A. So, to solve for the A, so ito yung A, B, and C. Pag nawawala yung A, ito yung ating formula. So, that is A is equal to B squared over 4C. So, ano ba yung ating B? Ang ating B ay 4x. So, therefore, this is now 4x squared divided by 4, sabi sa formula, 4c. So, ito yung ating c. So, 4c, so that is 4 times 4. 16, or 4x squared, that is equal to 16x squared. 4 times 4 is also 16. 16 divided by 16, so bali makakancel na to, 1 na siya. So ang matitira na lang bali ay x squared. So yung first term pala natin ay x squared. Okay, quick check, tingnan natin kung tama nga yan. So kanina alam nyo na kung paano malaman kung perfect squared trinomial nga sila, ba? Get the square root of this one, so square root ng x squared ay x. Square root ng 4 ay 2, tapos nilalagyan natin ng 2 ng multiplier na to sa harap. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, times x, so we have 4x, ayun yung 4x. So, ibig sabihin, ito nga ay perfect square trinomial. At ibig sabihin, x squared nga talaga dapat ang nakalagay dyan. Okay, let's go to example number 2. So, nawawala naman yung b natin. To solve for the b, so here's our formula. 
So that is now B is equal to positive or negative 2 square root of AC. So paano ba to? So ano ba ibig sabihin ng positive or negative dyan? Okay, kapag walang nakaslagay na sign dito sa B, ibig sabihin kagamit tayo ng dalawa. Positive or negative talaga ang susulat natin. Pero kung may nakasulat na sign na rito, kunyari may nakalagay na plus, susundin na natin yung plus. Pag may nakalagay na minus, susundin na natin yung minus. Pero pag wala, kagaya nito, yung dalawa lalagay natin, positive or negative. Remember yung sinabi ko kanina, yung sign ng second, yung sign ng second term, pwedeng plus, pwedeng minus. Eh dahil walang nakasulat, kaya plus or minus ang pwede nating answers. Okay, so, positive or negative, 2 times the square root of A natin. Ang A natin ay 4M squared. So, 4M squared. Times, yung C natin, yung ating C ay 9N squared. So, times 9N squared. So, that is equal now to positive or negative 2 times, okay, 4M squared. So, 4 times 9 is 36. This is now M squared, N squared. And that is equal to, that is equal to, Positive or negative 2 times square root of 36 is 6. Square root of m squared is m. Square root of n squared is n. So that's positive or negative 2 times 6mn. That is equal to 12 or positive or negative 12mn. So yun pala yung ating middle term. Plus or minus 12mn. Okay. Quick check. Tingnan natin kung tama yan. So, square root ng 4 ay, 4m squared ay 2m. Square root ng 9n squared is 3n. Tapos, may times 2 tayo palagi. Tingnan natin kung perfect square trinomial na nga siya. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 3 is 12. Times m times n. So, 12mn. Ayun. Eh, dahil wala nga nakalagay na sign, kaya plus or minus ang ilalagay natin dito. Okay? So, ganun yung sabi. Next, sa C naman. Okay, if C is missing, our formula is B squared over 4A. So, dito lang natin sulat yung uh, solution. C is equal to B squared over 4A. That is equal to, ano yung B natin? 70. 70x squared over 4 times yung A natin na 25x squared. So, dapat mawala yung x squared dyan. Kasi constant yung nasa dulo. Okay. 70x squared, that will be 4,900 x squared. Because that is 70 times 70. Next. 4 times 25 is 100. So, that's 100x squared. Ayun, makakancel na yung x squared. Maka-cancel din yung mga zeros. So, matitira 49 over 1 or simply 49. Ayun. So, 49 pala siya. Quick check. Tingnan natin kung tama. Square root ng 49 ay 7. Square root ng 25 ay 5. Uh, 25 x squared ay 5 x. Tapos, palagi may times 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Times 7 is 70. 70 x. Kaya nakuha yung 70 x doon. Okay? To fully understand the skills that we have just learned, so let's have tried this. So we will solve for the missing term to have a perfect square trinomial. So pwedeng-pwede nyo namang balikan kung bawang hindi nyo naintindihan kung saan part. So balikan nyo yung dun sa video tapos para at least alam nyo yung gagawin nyo para sa try this. Okay? Good luck! A few moments later. Okay, so kung ready nang mag-check, here are the correct answers. So kung may mali po kayo, paki-counter check na lang kung paano kayo nagkamali para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan yung pinanood nyo. Okay? So sa mga hindi pa po natin subscribers, please subscribe and like this video kung sa tingin nyo natuto naman kayo and also hit the notification bell. Okay? So we'll see you again in our next videos. What's up guys?